We're going to try out a hybrid Saiyans team versus uh, Zamasu here. Right, the team was this. requested by our boy Lazarus in the chat. Um, probably not super far off like a hybrid Saiyan team that I would build for this. Um, what's wrong with full dodge? The friend Gohan is like full dodge. I don't know. Is, is LR Ulma Gohan a unit that I would think is good for full dodge? I guess it's not a terrible choice because after his guard runs out, um, he can get caught, but yes, this is not a great first turn either. Look at this. Ugh. Because obviously the biggest problem with Gohan is he kind of needs to be, kind of needs to be babysat so you can get all of his key, which we are not doing on this first turn. So a little bit unfortunate, but what can you do? Because that's the thing, Gohan needs to get supers to build up, so he definitely needs some additional. Um, but then I guess crit is not really super important for him. So dodge is definitely not a terrible choice for his build. We did get the additional from the hidden potential system, so that's good. At least we did get two supers on this turn. AGL Gohan is the one that could get in trouble. I should have actually probably just used an item straight away, because if he gets supered here... Okay, he didn't super. Whew. Damn. I mean, the thing is, you don't need to go full additional because Gohan has that extra attack, even if it's only a chance to become a super, which does help to proc the hidden potential. So it's not like he needs to have, like, full additional. Because we'll when units have built-in additionals, you don't need to give them as much additional in the hidden potential system because it's a bit easier for them to actually proc it. But, um... Ooh. You know... If we wanted to play this really safe, I could just do this. Because even though it means floating off future Gohan, which, you know, he's like the best unit on the team, probably. Um, this is probably the safest way to play this rotation, right? Because in future Gohan, gets all in the family from you, gets to attack, has his damage reduction. Well, actually, no, he doesn't have it now because we're above 70% HP. Uh, Alright, we'll just go for the heal. If Feature Gohan gets supered, actually, we will just die now because he doesn't have the damage reduction. But gets Tech Gohan gets a chance to get built up without getting hit. So. Alright, double super. So double greatly raised defense. That's good. I mean, Feature Gohan, even without having the damage reduction, he does have very good defense. Just don't get supered. Okay, good. And there we go. So if uh, STR Feature Gohan gets supered at the end of the turn. He's going to have 80% damage reduction, so he's going to be fine. No additional super for Tech Gohan, though. That is unfortunate. I already have Bulma at 55%. Should I buy another Bulma? I mean, depending on how many coins um, you have... Oh, look at that dodge. Uh, even though it would have been double-digit damage anyway. Um, when it comes to people asking about coins, I know people say that you shouldn't get dupes with coins, but I think it just depends on your situation, right? Like, if you're somebody... If you have, like, a thousand carnival coins and you have every single other carnival LR, why not get a dupe for Bulma, right? Especially if she's a unit that you use a lot. Um... Like, I buy dupes, I get dupes for units to get them up to 79% when they come back on banners for the first time if I don't have them, because it feels like a, uh, a good investment. Ah, see, I don't want to put trunks in slot one, but... I could put trunks in slot one. Mm. I was going to say, because I could then grab this, drop down the physical orbs, get them all for Gohan. That's the only problem on this team build, is that Gohan just doesn't have the defense. Uh, doesn't have the key, and then the links are kind of split, and yeah. Because we've got no support apart from the base Gohan, uh, base future Gohan on this team. Because future Go uh, the physical Gohan here still has his guard, so he would be the best tank in slot 1. If we put AGL Gohan in slot 1, if he eats a super, he's just getting destroyed. Um... It's true that Gohan does need to get built up. If anything, we should do this. And it is only one attack. So I, I do see the logic, but... Maybe... 
do this. Actually, no, because then that will default to those. Ah, the key issues with future Gohan, man. Um, because if I drop these down, then Trunks is going to want to pick up all the physical orbs, which I don't want him to do because I want to give them all to Gohan. Yeah, see. I mean, I guess I could give Gohan all the green orbs, but. And then do I just use an I need to, I've, I guess we just use an item here, right? Because if uh, AGL uh, gets hit with the super, we are just dead. Um, uh, Gohan can't negate the super because it's not a um, it's not a key blast super. We discovered that just now when we we're doing the androids. That yes, yeah, of course. Fortunately, we have the Whis. So, um, but yeah, Gohan needs to stack because yeah, the last phase is tech. So that would be very very dangerous for him. There's an additional super, that's good. The more supers he gets, the better, right? The more stacks. Nice, okay, perfect. Triple super for AGL Gohan. Alright, well Trunks is gonna kill here. Because <laughs> he's got 10 million attack. We're gonna get we should get at least one extra super. So yeah, that's gonna be GG for uh Zamasu. And that means we still have a Whis in play for the first turn here against Tech. Um, Goku Black and Samasu. Oh! Oh! Whis plus Int Future Gohan equals 98% damage reduction. So, I think we know who's going in slot one. Right, so we'll do this. We'll do this. Perfect, look at that. And we'll do that. Alright, good turn. Good turn. So yeah, 98% damage reduction for future Gohan. <laughs> it sucks that he got sealed though. That is unfortunate. But yes, we do like that a lot. 98% damage reduction. Um, I can't believe they sealed the boy though. Look at him here. He's doing his best. There's a dodge as well. When every He's just going to take double digit damage, but we appreciate the effort. Um... And then Tech Gohan. Let's go. Oh, there's the double super. Come on. Get them stacks. Look at that insane attack stat. 2.5 million. Ooh. I mean, obviously, he hadn't got hit first, right? So he's, uh, <laughs> he's got a ways to go. <laughs> but yeah, he would have done quite a bit of damage, especially if that additional was going to be a super as well. There's no way to know, right? Because he just did two normals while sealed. So... All my Gohan here getting the additional super from getting to the uh, 20 key. We'd love to see that, but then we didn't get the hidden potential. Um, right, so this is where it gets a little bit scary. Because um, do we take the risk of getting supered in slot one? I mean, the smart thing to do here probably is just to Whis again, right? Because then after this, we get all of our standbys and everything. So, I don't see why not. Gohan still has his... Of course they did. Alright, well. No, they sealed future Gohan. The best unit, the most damaging unit. Because, yeah, he only had 60% damage reduction in slot 1. So... Their super attack does, what, like 1.6 million or something? So, yeah, that's the only downside with this rotation, is with no item active, like, none of these units really can live that slot one super. So, but here's what it is. Because we'll get back around to this rotation again when the Whis has run out, and then Trunks can go into his standby, and then he actually can tank in slot one. So yeah, if we get back around to this rotation again, we'll also get Gohan's uh, domain. So basically, we should be good to go. Yep, Trunks just throwing out those attacks. You love to see it. <laughs> Gohan contributing. He's doing what he can. No crits means no damage, though, sadly, for because of type disadvantage. But Oh, they just supered again. Okay. At least he has guard, actually, and the Whis. Still 131k, though. Yeesh. Yeesh. 
All right. So. Do we beast? I feel like we beast. Also, the key is really bad on this turn, so beasting would be a really good idea. Yeah, I feel like we beast. I don't think doing it in the second slot actually makes any difference, but... Let's go. God, I can't wait till we get playable Beast Gohan. I, I love this animation so much, but... Man. Special beam cannon! Yeah. <laughs> that damage though. <laughs> I mean he's not built up, he's got no support, he's got no link. Uh, no links, it is what it is, you know. <laughs> uh, do that and then do that. Alright. Yeah, such a great animation, but Beasted all over him. Yeah, he said it's beast in time. Beasted all over those dudes. And remember though, because we use the active skill this turn, we have all the effects as if we got the extra key. We have the effective against all types. So we even got the additional normal from the hidden potential as well. Action break one of the attacks away. I like to imagine that was a super since they've slot one supered in basically every single turn at this point. So... Because that's the thing, even if his active skill doesn't do a crazy amount of damage, you can't discount the value of the fact that it has an action break. Um, action break mechanic is so powerful for active skills especially. Because if they're attacking you in slot 1, um, and that attack could be a super, and then you just get rid of it, it's like, that's really good. Actually, don't we just win now because future Gohan's active skill will kill. I was saying about how we can put like Sword of Hope Trunks in slot 1, but I'm pretty sure they just die now, right? Because, yep, there's the domain. In fact, how much damage will this Gohan do with his active skill? Because I feel like this one... Did this one get more built up? Maybe not. Alright, let's fire this off. While this is playing, chat, you guys decide. Who are we going to give the finishing blow to here? Are we going to go for Sword of Hope Trunks in slot 1? Or are we just going to use the, um... Are we just going to use the active skill with future Gohan? What, which one do you guys want to see most? I mean, I think it's... I, don't, I feel like it's an unfair question to even ask, right? Because future Gohan's active skill is probably one of the best, uh, abilities. Ooh, Beast KO screen. That is true. Would we actually get it, though? Because... I don't think it's going to do a lot of damage. The Hybrid Saiyan one good shout that is a good call the hybrid saiyan one well let's see if beast gohan can get the ko screen i don't think beast gohan can do enough damage to be honest we can't get the uh, purple fart sort of hope uh, finish because he can't do the finish until the next turn so let's see will he actually get it now nah, because future gohan will just kill because future gohan gets guaranteed crit so future gohan's one will just straight up kill Guess it's my turn. But yeah, Beast probably isn't killing him with no support. The domain does increase the attack damage though. So, I don't know, is this my one? Because my one has more crit than the friend one that has dodge. So, with the domain and a crit, it could be. Oh, see, yeah, it needed to crit. It needed to crit, but it didn't. So, alright, there we go. This is one of my favourite animations in the game, and we'll get to see his KO screen. So... Man, if only he crit, that would have been, uh, it would have been GG. But yeah, look how much damage this guy's going to do. Because how much did Beast Gohan do? And it was almost enough to kill. Because we'll see how much Gohan's going to do here. Yeah, 8.4. So yeah, Gohan abs uh, absolutely would have just killed if we did it first. So... <laughs> And there's that KO screen. Look at that, future Gohan. You saved the future in a different fashion from an even more powerful enemy somehow. But there you go. So, Hybrid Saiyans versus Zamasu Red Zone. Obviously, we used items. I mean, 
As I've said many times before, we've discussed this. I don't know if I even got this in this recording or if we were talking about it before we started recording. But um, these new events, some of these teams, if you just protect yourself in the early turns with a Whis and you can get the build up for some of them, then obviously you then get to that like finale turn where we just then go ham with all the active skills and uh, just absolutely annihilate the enemy. So that was definitely very cool. Shout out to Lazarus for uh, suggesting the Hybrid Saiyans team to run. Uh, it was definitely a fun run. Sometimes it's nice to do these runs where rather than trying to sweat it out and just use no items, you just get to have fun and see everybody's active skills and all the intro animations and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, you love to see it. But let me know what you guys think of Hybrid Saiyans down below. If you could add one new big buff to the Hybrid Saiyans, I know we literally just got Future Gohan and Trunks, but if you were to add one new character that would be a big buff to the Hybrid Saiyans team, who would it be? Let me know down below in the comment section. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been The Mars Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.